How's it going everybody? It's Aparicio and today what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the color wheels in DaVinci Resolve. We're going to go through each of them, show you why they're all different and then I'm going to show you a grade that you can get with just the color wheels. They're pretty powerful. With that being said, let's get right into it. Uh, we have a shot. It was shot on the Ari Amira, okay? I put two color space transforms at the beginning and the end if you want to take a look at them. It's that one. So one at the end that's not really important for this video so if you're here for a certain set of color wheels just skip to that part in the video we're gonna look at our primary color wheels first uh this is what people typically use obviously as your primary adjustments you know when you're going to do your color correction and whatnot this is typically where people are going to start so with the primary wheels there's lift gamma gain offset right and a lot of you know already this is shadows, lift, this is midtones, gamma, and this is gain, highlights. And then offset just means your entire image you're going to be adjusting. So pay attention to the weight, uh, the scopes, the waveform and the scopes. The entire thing is moving up. If we just move our uh, kind of gain dial here, it's primarily going to be in the gains, I mean, in the highlights. And then gamma primary movement is in the middle of the uh, the waveform and then our left obviously the shadows are primarily going to shift so with the primaries there's a lot of mix and match okay so if we go to adjust our gain the primary thing that's being affected is the highlights but it's also bringing up the midtones as well but you're targeting the highlights and then same thing with the gain as you move this up and down yeah, you're targeting the midtones, but everything else will also be affected uh, just a little bit less. And we do the same thing with the shadows. The same thing applies to the colors as well. Now we're gonna shift towards green. It's gonna primarily target the uh, the highlights when you first move it, but the more you move it, it's bringing the whole image with it. Okay, same thing with the gamma primarily targeting the midtones and then you go we keep pushing it it's bringing the whole image with it and same thing with the lift there we go now it brings the whole image the primaries are going to be good for yeah you know your correction so we start with um nothing kind of in the beginning and then in the primaries you're just going to set your groundwork to work with for the rest of the grade so you're going to probably you're going to adjust the exposure by making the image look a little bit more natural with the uh, primaries and then you'll probably also be adjusting the white balance with your offset in your primaries. So uh, you'll probably create another node and then you'll go ahead and adjust your offset. Maybe this image is too warm. You just drag the offset down. Those are really good uses of the primaries. Now let's go to our log wheels. So the log wheels are a lot more targeted, okay? So it focuses a lot more on uh, what you're trying to target. It's also labeled where it's easier to understand. Shadows, midtones, highlights. Drop the shadows. See how it's kind of only adjusting the shadows. We drop the midtones. It's definitely only adjusting the midtones. And then drop the highlights, only adjusting the highlights, as you can see on the screen. Same thing with the colors, right? So we move this around. It's only adjusting the highlights. Let me show you the midtones and then the shadows, only adjusting the shadows. So this is great for a look implementation, right? Uh, we want the shadows to be cooler. So we go to shadows, bring it down. You know, we want the midtones to be a little bit more red and then the highlights can cool off as well. The offset is the same here. It affects the whole image. It's still the offset. So we're just focusing on these three. So this is great for really uh, making your image pop more, right? So let's bring down our shadows, bring up our midtones, bring up our highlights, and then we're creating some more separation between the shadow and midtones, thus creating an image that has a lot more pop in it. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and go to the edit page, go to effects, drag in a grayscale, and then you're going to right click new compound clip and create and go back to the color page and you actually you go do this you're going to see how this works so we're in our primaries not our log and you can see when we go and adjust something it kind of affects the whole image as well see 
shadows are going coming up with it or if we mess with the lift as you can see it's dragging all the way down into the midtones and a little bit into the highlights let's go to adjust the color you can see it's primarily affecting the whole thing if we just do our gain which is supposed to be our highlights and then check the log wheels out so let's go ahead and add some color to the shadows and you can see it's only affecting the shadows it's like got a nice roll off but it's not going into the midtones all right so now we're in the hdr wheels okay which is high dynamic range and you could see it looks a lot more different here but fear not it's not too much different if you have high dynamic range footage this is very useful if you're color managing your footage this is going to be extra useful let's go ahead and start to adjust certain things so i'm going to adjust the highlights you can see the highlights right here are blue now go to adjust light and you can see primarily the light is adjusted it's not as controlled as the log wheels is it because look let me go ahead and adjust the shadows and it's like the whole image is being adjusted but there are there are a few more uh color wheels in the hdr panel to work with to get a better representation of all of these uh, new color wheels, we're going to click this right here. Okay, and it's going to bring them kind of on your right. And then you're going to have different zones. As you can see, we have the shadow zone highlighted. This is exactly what it looks like. The shadow uh, color wheel here is affecting everything from here below it. And we can go ahead and see that now if we adjust the exposure of our shadow and maybe the color. It's like almost affecting the whole image. And what does that mean? That pretty much means uh, our entire image mostly falls beneath this shadow slider. And we could see that. Let's go ahead and put this up. As you can see, nothing is being affected here. And then if you once you go past that shadow, there you go. Let's go ahead and summarize this. In the high dynamic range wheels, you're gonna have three shadow wheels or shadow sliders and then three uh, highlight sliders pretty much to summarize it and then you these two right here they they kind of clash as you can see and you can come and adjust the fall off right here and as you can see the red fall off is kind of extending it's kind of like adding more softness that is a good way to think about it it's really cool in the hdr wheels you can click this here and hold it and you can see what you're affecting in the image you're working with right and that's really neat. So you click and hold. If you want it to stay there, just click the highlight button up top. And you will always have a, a histogram present behind these uh, kind of zones. You can also adjust these zones right here. That's what these are for. And the fall off you can adjust as well right here. The saturation of your adjustment and the exposure of your adjustment. And then you have your global wheel here in the HDR uh, in the HDR palette and that's exactly what it sounds like it's going to affect everything as you can see here and feel free to adjust all of your HDR wheels to do exactly what you want but let me show you a grade I did only using color wheels it's a nice orange and teal look so with my primary wheels I just opened the image up added some more contrast and then I created a little parallel node structure here with the look i pretty much was just establishing the look uh, i used the offset i brought it down to more teal and i also adjusted the gamma i put it a little bit toward the orange and then i went into my log wheels and made sure those shadows were neutral okay and then this log one is specifically just for log and as you can see you turn that off turn that on i've gone ahead and only affected those midtones as you can see here and then the hdr I just kind of brought a lot of things back down. I really manipulated the dark, cooling my image off a little bit more. And then I wouldn't mess with the shadow a little bit. So I was just kind of affecting everything except for those highlights. As you can see, I got to create a nice little look here just from using my color wheels. So with that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.